What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we got a video on uh, what 2K should fix. Before we get into it, make sure to smash that like button, drop the sub, all that good stuff because, man, that'd be greatly appreciated. Yeah, we're getting closer and closer to 10K. Also, follow the Twitter if you want to buy and or sell MT. Um, yeah, man, today. We got a lot to talk about as per usual, man. A little 2K fix video, a little tiny rant. We got a lot to talk about. So honestly, some things that are bothering me a lot in this game. We're gonna go over all of them pretty much, pretty much every aspect of the game, actually. So let's get into it. Um Honestly, the first thing I actually want to say is that some animations on the online side are literally insane. Like literally incredible, incredibly horrendous. So I'm gonna get to some of them. I'm gonna explain them off the top of my head because honestly, some of these animations are literally embarrassing. So I'm gonna go with the first one. Um, the animation where it lags and you continue to run to the rim, you run past the rim and go out of bounds. If you know what I'm talking about, probably one of the most like frustrating animations that has lags because of 2K servers. Now also, the 2K servers are obviously one big thing they need to fix, like, for years now. They still haven't fixed it. Um, like, yesterday I was playing TTO. I was lagging all game. I was lagging all game. I literally have top connection. My download speed is top, top of the line. I literally dropped thousands on my internet, and I have the top connection. And for that to lag is clearly not me. DBG was complaining about it. I'm complaining about it. The servers are terrible. Can you please drop millions and fix your servers? Because you make billions. Fix your servers. Literally, we play the game. We give you millions of dollars, billions of dollars. Fix your servers, please. So that's number one. Number two, I want to talk about pack odds now. Um, if you guys do know, Madden does show you the odds of the pack. Like, they show you the chances of you pulling this. They show you the chance of pulling that. Now, 2K, on the other hand, they don't show you any of their odds, which honestly, in my opinion, is super scum. They are literally so, like, they don't want to show the community anything. They like keeping everything they touch hidden. So if they do so, what makes you think their packs are actually good? Be honest, I've been pulling some fire out of the packs, but I know for sure their odds are terrible. Now, also, you do think about it. Bronzes, silvers, and golds have zero value. So if you end up pulling these packs and you don't get anybody, like, if you get dang whoop de do 20k batum rip you Rubio, they're all stupid they're, they're not they're they're no mt so now if you think about it if you get none of these cards you just get yo know, dang batum and ricky rubio you literally get 30k and you still have no idea what the odds are from yao ming and hidu because you didn't pull them so what makes you think you're gonna actually pull them second try my opinion is if you don't pull the cards within the first 10 packs or first eight packs you're not gonna get any of the cards like you could say you're ripping all day unless you're pulling vc wise vc wise in my opinion i feel like do up the odds for sure definitely up the odds for sure another thing i want to talk about they released tracy mcgrady on boards i have literally went 33 and 3 yesterday i literally played all day i wasted hours on this game to try to get at least a diamond t-mac i didn't get anything i didn't even get a abby pink t-mac i didn't get any t-mac i didn't even see any t-mac with 33 and 3, I got five balls three times. Well, four times, four, six times. I don't know, whatever. I always got the five ball drop both times. And yeah, I saw nothing. No T Mac. So if they were to drop the odds here, that would be cool. Like the odds for them would be so interesting. Because honestly, I've seen <clears throat> all the T Macs pop up on either five or four ball balls. Now, me on the other hand, no. Um, never, not even one time. So I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know what the odds are for that. And also it shows, I don't know if it's on Xbox. I think PS4 might be different, but for sure, T-Mac is still going for the big racks on Xbox. So I don't know if it's different on PS4, 
But I literally just wanted to talk about the triple threat board drops are literally atrocious. They need to fix these packs. I say these packs for you guys. These are the worst packs. These packs are literally go for a maximum of 4 KMT. And these deluxe packs are terrible too because you could literally pull an amethyst tops. And this pack's trash too. So like what I don't understand is like why are these spotlight packs from months ago in TTO? Like, I literally don't understand what is... Is that going to help? Is that going to help anybody? Like, I don't think 3K, 2K, 1K MT is going to help anybody in this community. So if you could go ahead, help me fix that. Also, the drops with 100 MT, 200 MT. It's like, dude, I literally just won. I literally just went five. I just won one. What is it, like 8-0 if you beat the whole war? 10-0 or something like that? I just went undefeated in TTO. I got 500 MT, 200 MT, and one token as my wall drop. Why is that a thing? I literally don't understand. If you're going to go undefeated on TTO, if you're playing right now, it's sweaty. Like, kids are sweating their butt off, bro. And a go super sweat sane mode and versus kids that are going to be losers. Literally losers. Making you struggle. Taking long times off your game. Pausing the game. And you're going to get that reward. In my opinion, it's just, like, frustrating. I literally, I don't know, dude. It's just, like, I played all day, and this is going on. I'm struggling to win games, and I have to get 100 MT and tokens. I don't know, dude. There's just so much we could talk about, bro. Alrighty, so. Now, we went over pack odds. We went over TTL ball drops. We went over Tracy McGrady barely being on the boards. Um, hmm. Let me also talk about solo challenges. So, now... This one, people are going to disagree with this one, but this is my opinion. So now, if you guys do play Madden, Madden NHL, I think FIFA too. Now, they have moments challenges, okay? This was honestly one of the best solos we've gotten from 2K in a really long time. I respect these. It's just they're so long. This is the thing I'm going to talk about. Now, they drop 150 games. Super, super long games, right? So, 150 games, okay. 150 games, you get hardened. Now, you need most of the collection to do it, okay? Now, this is my theory on that. In order for you to get hardened, you need a lot of MT to do the sets if you're new. So now, 150 games, 70 hours of your life. So now, 70 hours of your life to get James Harden, correct? So now, why didn't they just make moments challenges like Madden? Madden would do 150 moments, bro. Think about 155 minute quarter games. If that was Madden, nobody would play the game and they even have Chew Clock. Now, in my opinion, I find it crazy that you guys are going for Harden. I think it's a good grind while during quarantine, don't get me wrong. But it's the fact that you literally have to waste your life getting an Opal Harden that is literally almost outdated by so many cards, in my opinion. Now, he's obviously insane, I want the card so bad. But it's the fact that you have to grind for hours and hours to get that card. Yeah, it's definitely worth a grind if you could do it. But honestly, in my opinion, I did most of Domination. And it's totally... Like, I literally grinded so long for Domination. And I literally got the worst cards ever. They never updated the Sean Kemp. Like, literally, if you think about it, it was the biggest waste of time ever I've ever had in my life. So, with that being said... In my opinion, man, 2K, like, the only card that was worth the grind was Galaxy Opal B-Roy, bro. The Blake Griffin Pink Diamond stinks. The Barry stinks. All those cards that you grinded for in the spotlights stink, bro. Like, literally. So, in my opinion, if you really wanted to grind all those Evos and everything, like, the Evos, in my opinion, are so worthless because you're going to sit there grinding all day to just get bullied by a guy with Opal Shack or something. It's like... People who grinded all those Evos way back when, the Diamonds, the Amis, the Pink Diamonds, they're literally, like, you wasted hours of your life. So, in my opinion, I think the Evos are terrible. I think if you're going to drop Evos, you got to make them more realistic. I think the challenges are way too long. I mean, I'm not I'm not going to complain about them because, yeah, they give us free Opals. But, dude, Madden, bro, you get free 95s, free 99s. If you do moments challenges that are actually fun. Like, I literally, en like, enjoy having moments challenges. Like, I literally enjoy doing it. So, I just feel like 2K should take the moments challenge route. They could somehow, if they could do 10 moments challenges a week, 
give us some free tokens, some MT that are realistically in good in rewards. I'm fine with that, dude. I will do that all day. But I just wanted to get that out to the community. What needs to be done? What needs to be fixed in this game? And honestly, I think I did a pretty good job. And obviously, Domination is terrible. These are the worst cards. They didn't update them. They're trash. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content. Have a good one. Peace.